Okay, so I opened a, a file in Photoshop that I'm going to use as the uh, trace a bitmap for my website. And in the meantime, I also decided on a theme for my website. I'm going to use my Yellowstone trip from last year and winter as the theme for my website. Okay, so uh, not too different than his snowboarding site, I guess, because I went on this uh, winter trip. But anyway, regardless, it'll be Yellowstone. So I, I found this photograph, but i got to prepare the photograph before I bring it into Flash. So first of all, it needs to be the right size. So if I go to Image, Image Size in Photoshop, I see that this image is um, uh, 8.6 inches by 648 image. And this is how many pixels it is wide in height. So that's no good. So what I first thing I need to do is I need to reduce this way, 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 way down. So um, my I know that in um, Flash, if I open up Flash, that if I click on the background in Flash, that my window is 900 by 650. So I want my image to be less than this, slightly less, just like in um, the video by Richard Shoup. When you look at his video, his image is slightly smaller than the size of his website. So I want to do the same thing. So 900 by 650 is what I set mine to. So in Photoshop, I need to set mine to, like, let's say 900 by 650. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Resample Image, which, you know, it might already be. And, um, and make sure that constrained proportions is on. See, here's constrained proportions. Here's resample images. And I'm going to take this down from, uh, let's say, to 850 wide. 850 wide by 638 tall. And I'm going to need to be a little bit smaller than that, let's say. So how about 840 wide by 630. So that would be 60 pixels less than 900. And then 20 pixels less than the height. So it's still a little bit big. But um, I'm thinking that that's okay. So I'm going to click OK. And that scales it way down. Okay. And now I'm going to, now once again, that was image, image size. Make sure constrained proportions is on and resample image. And then put in the size that you want here. It's going to constrain the proportions, but that's okay. Now, um, now that I have my image, I'm going to use my zoom tool. Do this so you can see the zoom tool. Zoom tool, I'm going to zoom in a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to get the crop tool. Here's the crop tool. And I'll maybe I'll crop it slightly. So just crop it slightly. Okay. All right, there we go. Now if I go to image, um, image size, and when you, uh, and you see now it's 840 by 612 height. And that's going to have to be okay. And um, I could go a little bit smaller. Let's say image, image size. 30, 605, that might be better. Click OK. There we go. I like that. And, um, and I wish I hadn't cropped it, but too late now. Um, I don't want to go back. Uh, and when you use the crop tool, you select a crop box around your image, right? To, to apply the crop, you click the check mark or hit enter. To you hit no, you hit the cancel. So that's it. Now, the other thing I can do before I finish with this image is, is I can try to play with it. So I could go to Image, um, Adjustments. I could put adjustments on it, and I can run levels and stuff like that. So I'm going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and I'll put Levels here. Click OK. Now I've got an Adjustment Layer, and I can play with the black. I can even actually make it really dark. Light. Make it a little bit lighter. I like that. That looks good. Play with that. So that is uh, that looks good. I could also invert it or put a color cast on it. So I could go to layer. Um, let's see here. Layer new adjustment layer. Hue and saturation. Click OK. And I could um, colorize it slightly colorize it and make it um, the color that I want the image to end up being in my website. Since I had a brown theme for my website, maybe that would look better. I can saturize it, or desaturize it, change the hue slightly. I kind of like that hue. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Make it a bit darker. And click OK. And now it's good to go. So now I'm going to save it to my desktop file. 
file. Let's see, save as JPEG desktop background. And now, uh, okay, a baseline optimized that looks good. Um, quality seven medium is fine. Maybe even six. And click OK. So now I've um, saved my image that I want uh, to the desktop, and I'm good to go. Time to go into Flash, bring it in, and then we're going to trace the bitmap like Richard Shoup did in previous chapters.